Welcome to the project demonstration of stress analyzer along with care prediction uh, suggestions on the LCD display and also we can monitor the same details like heartbeat, temperature and stress details on the blink application and if it is any abnormality detected the system will send the email alerts to the register email id as a alerts. So like here uh, we are going to uh, set the limits for the stress is going to be the 30 percent is a minimum so about 30 percent on LCD display, if we, uh, it will display that uh, listening to the music and if it is above 40% then take rest and if it is above 50% then it will suggest us to consult the doctor. So these are the settings we uh, kept as a condition for the demonstration purpose and here the email is going to be the if it is 30% above directly will keep on sending the mail alerts and also if the heartbeat is above 100 beats per minute it will send the email alerts and if the temperature is above 100 degree for an age then it will send the email alerts so these are the uh, steps in our project and for that purpose we are making use of ESP32 uh, which will taking care of inputs from the GSR sensor inside this we have attached so these are the wires 1 and uh, 2 and uh, 3 these are the third sensor we have mounted in, inside that and the GSR module was placed here uh, like the PCB was placed over here in the back side of this uh, ESP32 and this one is a temperature sensor and this is the heartbeat sensor. So these three sensors interface at the 39, 34, 35 pins of this ESP32 direct module and uh, next LCD display interface at the SDA and SCL that is the I square C pins of the ESP32 and the whole system getting power supply from this uh, 3.7 volts 2600 milliamps uh, battery and which is rechargeable battery so before demonstration keep the battery under full charge so for that connect the B type cable to this one and now on the power supply to the charger then the light indication will show the status of battery charging once the battery getting fully charged then automatically this light will continuously on so till that time you need to keep the battery under charging and after that disconnect the uh, charging from this uh, boost converter so the boost converter purpose is which will boost the 3.7 volts to 5 volts as the operating voltage of our uh, sensors and the ESP32 module is 5 volts for that purpose we need to boost up the 3.7 to 5 volts directly and uh, right and uh, the next step is uh, after the battery under full charge next key like uh, change the hotspot name because we need to get the email alert and blink application data monitoring we need to provide further we need to provide the data and hotspot for the ESP32 configure that to project finance 61 without any space without any capital letter and password should be 123456789 and APBAN should be 2.4 gigahertz after enable the hotspots and data log into the gmail so the other previous mails we have received and uh, next log into the blink application from the given credential as of now it is showing offline as a device is not connected is not on also so then now uh, we need to on the device so let me mount this on our hand now so mount the uh, wristband on your uh, left hand as I shown in this so here the temperature should be at this section and orbit also will come here and LCD should be back side of this one so in this manner we need to mount the band on your hand and then after you can just on the power supply to this switch so this is the main switch on off once you on that then you can see the welcome message and then it will connect to the Wi-Fi module and the device will be come to the online now That alone, no? yes, sir. Right, we are not supposed to forget about this uh, data on. So when we switch on the data also, then uh, we can see that now it is online. So now stay on the screen. So continuously we get the temperature and all. So if you want to get the stress levels directly, just press and hold properly. So in between the battery side, one sensor is there, and this one just press and hold properly. So you can get the stress levels normally. Right. right okay so when the stress levels are more than this 30 percent then automatically it will send the email alerts so just while doing like this press and hard 
so you can make the uh, stress levels increase and you can send the email alerts to that right so now let us see the temperature increasing also just place it gently and this black color is the temperature sensor now let us see the heat gently increase the temperature to that question it is right right so when it crosses now the system is sending the email alerts yeah previously when we are making the abnormal condition for stress levels when it is about 30 percent then it will send the email alerts and wait for five to six seconds you will get the email alerts Again. So it's hang over there means it's sending the email alerts. So we got the email alert. So based on the one data speed of your mobile phone so it will send the mail alerts to the registered email ID.